Where you're going? What a day. No frigging way I can do it. Five years hey, of learning and up the mood for some easy money. How easy? Easy enough. What's the problem? Hey, Aiden, how's it been? Aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to have life yet? Man, Man, I've been here and there. Luck there. You know, the I best part is always out luck. in the center. I'm Alberta's and that's apprentice. where we're going. Not for long, I have a plan probably. for how to get there. It's I'll the tell third you time I'm spot. taking a shot at this Meet test. Me on the roof, if I feel the main game, metro station. Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. <laughs> What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but it kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then, I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they can be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Looks like you're in luck after all. I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Hey, here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen, then, near the wall. Sometimes when I stay out too long, I get the feeling that there's no one left in the city. And then this horrible fear overwhelms me. Protect our 
crops from the winter cold. Get inside, Aiden. Don't stay out at night. That's when the monster... Here. Welcome to the bazaar, pilgrim. My sister found some weird tape inside an abandoned building. You're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. Was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered. Even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Oh, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the Metro Technical Station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls. Or goods from Dark Zone. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in-
creature I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the BK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station.
I got to the flare. Look around. The technical tunnel to the main station should be well lit. I've already lowered the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up when you get inside.
Not a single sick more. <sighs> nah, never mind it. Bye. Airlock. I'll be there in a second. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. <laughs> Doesn't look like a renegade. <clears throat> He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. Bizarre scum. How is it that you lost saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter? I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you, but not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Vilador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me, and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, 
and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around. Ask people. And don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. You must help us. Otherwise there will be a rebellion. Help us in the investigation. We'll help you with the bandits. I told you already. Nobody in the bazaar had anything to do with Lucas's death. Then why won't you let us search your home, huh? If everyone is so then there'd be nothing to hide. Keep your roots away from our homes. Tell me all about it. So, what did they want from you? Aiders. What? What are you supposed to help him? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon. Went missing from the crime scene. He believes find the Lazarus, huh? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets. Offense? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for debt right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Every day he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and wait, probably selling booze and weed. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. <laughs> 